so like if you're think if you want to say like oh man or like whoa you say ha pais ha pais which means actually just translated young man so they first say like young man like that's <laughs> it's really funny um, and then to say like oh cool great sounds good you say this word it's called it's a uh, beleza beleza I just or beautiful I just I like that word. And so Brazilians, when they greet you, depending on where you are in Brazil, the tradition kind of changes, but they give what's called beijus, which is like you hug someone and then you give them a beiju and you like touch their cheek. You only do it with women when you're a sister. And I don't think elders or guys do it. I think it's a female thing. Um, but yeah, sometimes you do two, sometimes you do one. And if you really, really like the person, you can do four. But I, that's a lot. <laughs> Something that I think is interesting about the mission is I think I like had this idea that I was going to go on my mission and I was going to be like put in the refiner's fire and I was going to be perfected. Definitely didn't know that the refiner's fire was going to be like as hard as it was. <laughs> like I was like, oh yeah, like I'm going to the refiner's fire. It'll be easy. I'll come out. It's been great. Um, no, it was really hard. Um, and you know, I thought I was going to come back and all my weaknesses would be overcome and resolved. Um, and that just wasn't really the case. Like definitely I think I improved some things that I needed to. Um, but I think for the most part, Heavenly Father was just making me aware of like my weaknesses and the silly things that I do. Um, and that's really helpful because if you don't know what you need to do to be better, you can't progress. And so that was what was so helpful about having a companion um, is they could tell you, I mean, they're with you 24 seven. And you say, you know, Sister Gwen, like sometimes you do this or you say this um, and it hurts people's feelings or it's not good and you know, like you should work on it. And you know, definitely like there were times where like it really hurt to hear that. And you kind of think like, oh, that can't be right. <laughs> But then like, you're like, no, like, yep, yeah, that's how it is that I do that. Um, and you know, I'm so grateful for the people who were, had the courage enough to tell me uh, where I was falling short. Um, I still have a lot to do to get better, but I'm glad that I was made aware of that. Um, probably though, that like the biggest impact my mission had on me um, was being able to accept help from other people um, and recognize the importance of the atonement in my life. Because I am like a recovering perfectionist. Um, I want to be perfect. I think everything should be perfect. And that was like a real struggle for my mission. And it was a huge struggle on my mission. Um, missionary work is not like schoolwork. It's not you do your homework and you get an A and you study for your test. Um, you work hard, you study, you work all day, and then you don't have anyone in your teaching pool or no one's coming to church or you can't get references from members. And you're like, sometimes like you start thinking, oh, well, like, I guess I'm not working hard enough or, you know, and then when you get really discouraged, you're like, well, gosh, like maybe I'm not worthy. Like maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, and no, I mean, look, like if you're being obedient and you're praying and you are giving your 100% every day, like you just have to step back and recognize that sometimes the work is really slow and it's, it's just how it is. And so this idea of like, you know, failing, I mean, I don't know if that's the right word, but like having failings every day, that does not mean that you are a failure. Um, something that President Worthen, he's the president of BYU, he said in his talk last semester was learning to successfully fail. He talked about how like, failing as human beings is a part of the perfection process and learning how to do that and learning to do it well is one of the reasons that we're here. Um, so that definitely was the biggest thing for me as a missionary. It's part of the experience because if we didn't fail, we didn't mess up. We don't need a savior. We don't, but we do. Um, thank goodness we do.